Okay. Planning experiment, uh, we did the first two questions from this exercise. And today we'll do question three. In question three, we have nickel sulfate, six dot uh, six H two O. What does six H two O represent? This represent the water of crystallization, because what happens? Some of the crystals are hydrated crystals, and they have the tendency to trap the water molecule. All these ionic compounds exist as a lattice, and what is the meaning of a lattice? There will be a regular arrangement of oppositely charged ions in ionic lattice. So some of these ionic compounds, which are hygroscopic, means they have the tendency to trap some water molecules within the structure. So what we have to do, and they mention here, when nickel sulfate dot 6H2O is a blue crystalline salt. So it's blue in color. We have to plan an experiment to obtain a sample of a pure water from this salt. So we want to remove this water out. Okay. And in the question, it's pure water. So how we can test the purity of a substance, how we know the substance is pure or impure. We can check uh, it. The melt yeah. Yes. The melting oh. and the boiling point. So we can check the melting point or we can check the boiling points. So or we can also use a chromatography, but in this case, it's not possible because chromatography is used to identify uh, the whether a substance is pure or impure or it's a mixture in terms of colors or dyes. So to identify that water, this water is pure, we can check the melting or the boiling point. And for liquids, we check the boiling point. Your answer should include a diagram of the apparatus, an expected observation, and a test to show the presence of a pure water. You are provided with a common lab apparatus. Okay. So first, what we have to do, we have to remove the water, and then we have to collect that water as well. So how we can collect, like example, we have crystals, hydrated crystals of nickel sulfate, which are blue in color, So we have nickel sulfate and usually hydrated and anhydrous salts, they changes the color as well. Example, what happened when the water molecule is trapped, it will have a different color as compared to when there is no water molecule. So initially what we will do, we will heat. But you cannot heat something directly. But once we heat, the water molecules are removed. These water molecules escape. These water molecules will be in what state? What will the state? Gaseous state or vapors. So what we have to do, we have to condense these. How we can condense? So we can use a cond condenser. Like we can remove the heat energy and how we can remove the heat energy from the vapors by using a condenser. So what apparatus will, yeah, we cool down, how it can be, how we can cool down a substance, we use a condenser. You can use mic, you can use chat, you can also use screen annotation during a session to participate. So first example, we took a round bottom flask, and in this round bottom flask, what we have, we have hydrated nickel sulfate, okay? Then how we can supply the heat energy? Which apparatus? Uh, the, it's called the, the what? apparatus for the yeah, What's the name? So that that's right, uh, Rabia. Bunsen is, burner, Bunsen uh, burner. Yeah. So we have a Bunsen burner, so we, Whenever we are supplying the heat energy, we place on a tripod, okay? And this a minute. So whenever we are supplying the heat energy, So 
if we are supplying the heat energy, what we use, we use a tripod. So first we have a round bottom flask. which is placed on the tripod stand. And from the bottom, we are supplying the heat energy by using a Bunsen burner. Inside, we have the hydrated nickel sulfate. And this one is connected with a side arm and the condenser. So it is closed from the top and we have a condenser here. What is the purpose of the condenser? The purpose of the condenser is to remove the heat energy. How it removes the heat energy because water is having a high specific heat capacity. So the water can absorb greater amount of heat energy before it changes its temperature. One for a, every one degree change in temperature, Water can absorb greater amount of energy. That's why the water is the best coolant. So from bottom, we have inlet. And here we have outlet. The cold water enter from the bottom of this condenser and the hot water will leave. If we change the direction of the flow, it won't work. It does not work. Why? Because it will create an air lock. Because hot water is having a low density. So hot water will always rise up naturally. So that's why the cold water should always enter from the bottom and the hot water will leave. So when we supply the heat energy, as a result, when these water molecules, like it produce water vapors, these water vapors, the condenser remove the heat energy and con convert this, these vapors into a liquid state, a condensation, and then we collect a distillate here. That will be the water. And how we can test, how we can check, this is a pure water. So we can check the boiling point and at what temperature it should boil if it's a pure water. What should be the boiling point? If it 100, is pure? 100 degrees Celsius. So it should 100. be one, yeah, 100. So that's how we can test the purity of a substance okay. by checking that. But, but Remember one thing, it's not like all, all the substances have a boiling point of 100. That's a misconception. Only in case of a water, it will be 100, pure water. Other liquids, like example, say we have ethanol, it will be 78. Okay. So you have to plan this experiment. You have to plan this experiment to obtain, and uh, look, plan an experiment to obtain a sample of a pure water. Your answer should include a diagram of the apparatus, which I have drawn already an expected observation what we'll observe we'll observe a color change here whenever hydrated salts turn into anhydrous we observe the color change and how to test the presence of a pure water we can check the boiling point and it boils at 100 so you can draw and then you can explain in your own words so you have five minutes to plan this experiment and send your answers now 